So here, I'm going to show you how to troll for trout. So first, you're going to want shiners, just like this, right? And if you know for little rainbow trout, you're going to want 8 pound test line, really light. Just get a spoon, or you can get other, you know, jigs and stuff like that. And simply tie this to your swivel with my 8 pound test line. like this and trim away any extra line then what you're going to want to do after you attach that is you're going to want I don't know like a foot in length to make your bait look like a straggler when it's in the water and it's trying to catch up with the rest of the group so, put it back 12 inches, then simply attach it to your line. Doesn't really matter what kind of knot you use, but whatever you do, make sure you put a swivel on the end of your spoon or little lure because. Um, you don't have the swivel on it, trolling will get it really messed up. And it's not fun when you're trying to fish, but you have to untangle your line every time you reel it in. So, there we go. We got this. You attach your main line. There's the little shiners. 12 inches. And then you got your spoon. So, that's how you troll for trout. And um, I recommend going the uh, slowest your boat can go. Or just use your trolling motor. Not too fast, but fast enough to where you, your lines don't sink down to the bottom. And that's it.